Hello friends, I am Arpan and this is Introduction to Animation Series using Autodesk Maya and today we will try to understand parent constraint by using this example over here. So let's start. Let's try to understand our parent constraint option with other example. Let's say this hand want to push or pull something. Okay, let's create a box from over here. Like this box is so big. It is a huge box and uh, maybe it is over here. Let's move this hand. Maybe here. This hand ko hum le jate hai. IK mode mein. We will talk about IK and FK which one is better later so don't worry about that let's switch into ik mode and then let's say this guy want to push this box over here so what can we do for this? let's try to talk about that we four press 4 and this controller is over here it's move back and let's try to understand that we need to push this box to push हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा? So one thing is like I can just move this guy over here. इसका इसका basic suppose बनाते हैं. First of all, we have to have some pose. Maybe this box is close over here. And now we will select this guy. इसको थोड़ा सा you move करते हैं. And uh, let's try to have some contact with the fingers. So let's select these controllers and then we are just making proper contact with the box over here I can even turn on this ambient occlusion to really see the shadows and all that let's rotate the sky maybe like this yeah so right now I want to move this hand to move it to move it with the box या मैं इस बॉक्स को मूव करूं तो हैंड भी इसको फॉलो करता हुआ नजर आए तो उसके लिए हम लोग क्या कर सकते हैं अभी हम लोग बात करते हैं देयर आर टू ऑप्शंस ओवर हियर वन कि मैं इस हैंड को पेरेंट कर दूं तो लेट्स से आई वांट टू पेरेंट दिस हैंड कि इस हैंड की मूवमेंट से ये ये हमारा बॉक्स इफेक्ट हो तो मैं क्या करता हूं सिंपल के हैंड को सेलेक्ट करूंगा पहले बिकॉज़ इट विल बी द पेरेंट एंड देन आई विल सेलेक्ट दिस स्काई ओवर हियर आई विल गो इनटू कंस्ट्रेन एंड आई विल Double check ke maintain offset on hai and then this translate or rotation all may check laga hua hai. the way it should be one I will say apply that okay now if I move this hand the box is going with that so let's say shuru mein box kuch yaan pe tha and then after some frames he like really push this guy over here to hume already ek push ki feel a gai hai और उसके बाद में भी वी कैन जस्ट सेलेक्ट दिस गाय बॉक्स को सेलेक्ट करते हैं एस प्रेस करेंगे एंड देन वी विल की दिस ब्लेंड ऑप्शन वी कैन मेक इट जीरो ओवर हियर और उससे पहले एक फ्रेम में हम इसको वन कर देते हैं विद दिस हैंड सो आफ्टर फ्रेम 15 आई कैन मूव दिस हैंड ओवर हियर मे बी सो ही इज लाइक टायर्ड ओ आई एम सो टायर्ड ओह समथिंग लाइक दैट so maybe his fingers be bent ho chuki hai because this guy is so tired let's key frame 15 pe key karte hai uh, because kyunki frame 15 pe contact hai box ke saath and then over here this guy will like go down even select everything aur hum log yahan pe jahan jahan key hai wahan pe s press kar sakte hai so right now we are getting this thing ye yeah. oh kuch yun so let's slow this guy down I can key over here. My fingers will select karta hu aur baaki cheezon ko unselect karta hu. To shift press kiya maine selection di aur jin cheezon ko maine unselect karna hai alt press karte hue minus selection kar di maine. And then I will rotate these guys like this. So I will double check ki fingers uske andar se jaate hue nazar nahi aa rahi. Like over here the thumb is going through. So thumb ko select karta hu frame 15 pe and then I will maybe move this guy like this and same for other fingers I have to double check that there is no box in the box 
yes and maybe over here i can add more detail like abhi suddenly ye aa the aap aage ruk raha hai so maybe i can add some keys over here aur usme moving hold add kar deta hu maybe so this hand can go up and maybe down and i can really go into graph editor polish this thing and right now it is in linear isko main default tangent pe click karte hue isko smooth out kar deta hu let's make this flat same for this guy inko select kiya aur maine d press kar diya to default tangent aa jati hai iske same for this guy auto tangent same over here i i want ease out from that one so i will break this guy first and now i will select this tangent aur usko main kuch yun kar deta hu let's try to make them beautiful yes same for this guy let's try to play with the tangents and same for this guy okay we can also double check rotation by seizing kaisi hai and then i can make it flat over here and we can adjust this graph editor cool okay let's see now yes let's try to change the playback range isko maine thoda kam kiya and now we can see our box push over here i feel like the timing is super fast we can change the timing by selecting these guys in sabhi ko select kiya maine and then i will say okay this push can take maybe 30 frame to maine kya kiya yahan se puri range ko shift select kare karte hue isko aage ki taraf move kar diya and now this push is taking more time let's say ye jo translate x axis hai uske along mein ja raha hu ki thodi si vibration add karu to i can simply go into graph editor i will go into translate x or i can play with this guy over here so maybe let's try to flat this guy or shuru maybe we can just flat this guy and now we can see e is in and e is out from start to end और मिडल में हम लोग कुछ स्टैगर ऐड करना चाह रहे हैं कुछ एफर्ट ऐड करना चाह रहे हैं तो आई प्रेस करते हुए मैं मिडल क्लिक करूंगा एंड आई विल रैंडमली ऐड कीज ओवर हेयर और इन कीज को मैं थोड़ा सा पास ले आता हूँ तो अंदर इट विल पुश थोड़ा सा रुकेगा एंड देन इट विल पुश फॉरवर्ड लेट्स प्ले दिस नाउ यस and of course we can play with the this animation and we can really polish that thing but the main idea over here is to understand parent constraint better by using this push example to hum logo ne kya kiya humne arm ko f ke se ik mein convert kiya and then we use that ik controller to parent with that box to hum logo ne push ki feel add kar di okay friends aaj ke liye itna hi next time hum log milte hain aur parent constraint ko samajhne ki koshish karte hain by using some other examples till then take care